Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you some pretty cool footage of a really nice red that I caught on a very small lure. So, this was about a 40 inch redfish caught on a very small one and a half to two inch size bait. And it was just this small crab imitation, which is made by uh, Chase Baits USA. This is their crusty crab. Savage Gear also makes a very small crab imitation. And these can be, you know, like candy to these fish, when, especially when you're sight casting to them. You know, you usually think bigger fish, you need a bigger bait, but it's really not the case. When you have these smaller baits, you know, it's going to cause less commotion in the water. It's going to be less likely to spook those fish because these big fish don't get big you know being stupid you know they know what they're eating they know what they're looking at they've had tons of lures thrown at them so you want to fool them as best as possible something that's a little bit smaller isn't as easy for them to tell whether or not it's food if they see it move they'll typically go after it as opposed to you know a big five six inch paddle tail that's kicking its tail and it will spook those fish. So let me go ahead and switch over to the on the water footage. You'll see this really nice red caught on this really small lure. So here I was using that two inch crusty crab which is made by Chase Bait USA. Savage Gear also makes a small crab imitation, but it just goes to show that you don't need a big lure to catch big fish, even in dirty water, especially if you're sight casting to them. So toss this one out in front of the fish that I saw moving towards me and he tailed on it. Now with this particular crab lure, I did use scent. I was using the Procure Inshore Saltwater Scent, which worked out really well. And when that fish got close, I just slowly dragged the rod tip up, dragging that lure across the bottom to get the attention of that fish. Coming around you. He might be behind you. So like I mentioned before, this lure I sight casted to these fish and that's the really nice thing about small lures when you're sight casting the bigger fish is that it's a smaller presentation so you're less likely to spook those fish away. It's just a matter of getting that lure in the strike zone and in front of that fish so they can actually see it and find it. <laughs> okay. These are the critical moments right here. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> there we go, he's out of there. There you can see the tiny little crab lure right in the corner of the mouth. So as you can clearly see right there, you don't need big baits to target big fish. And more specifically, you know, when you're sight casting to these bigger fish in the shallows. You know, these fish have been around for a while, that's why they're so big. They've seen tons of lures thrown in front of their face. And most likely if you throw a five, six inch jerk bait or a paddle tail in front of these big fish, they're probably gonna spook off. That's why smaller baits can excel because you know it's a smaller profile, more subtle presentation, and that gives you a little bit more of an, an advantage on those fish to get them to strike. Now also, if you are interested in picking up some of these smaller crab lures, we do sell some of these on our shop page at fishstrong.com. We have the Chase Baits USA Krusty Crab, which is what I have here. This is the sand color. We also sell the Savage Gear Crabs that are pretty much the same size, and we'll do the same thing and get the job done as well. These lures also work really well for sheep's head. So if you're sight casting the sheep's head, you know, around dock pilings or bridge pilings or even just letting these drop straight down a piling, you, you can catch mangrove snapper on them and those sheep's head and also black drum. I've caught some really nice black drum on these lures as well. So that will wrap up this video. If you have any questions or comments or any additional tips you would like to share when it comes to catching big fish on small lures, definitely let us know down below. And last but not least, if you are having trouble finding fish, that's probably the most critical part in catching fish is actually finding them. Highly recommend checking out our Salt Strong Insider Club where we guarantee you'll start catching more fish in less time. So that will wrap up this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. 
If you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we actually guarantee that you'll catch more fish while saving time and also money on the tackle you need. We do this through premium education, our exclusive insider fishing community, and huge discounts on the best tackle for saltwater anglers. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, we hope to see you again soon.